huge rally back and forth. Roddick trying to keep it to Abel's backhand. Tarek Benabale just saying, breathe deeply. I mean, he had three unbelievable serves to take him to 40 love and triple match point. And then Abel got them all back. Now we dig deep into the character of Andy Roddick at this point here. Resurfacing. He's got a net cord winner. I mean, just remember how close Roddick was in that second set. Twice. And now it's break point. Got the ace. Take that off. <laughs> we'll go back to Deuce. point. the first American in seven years to win this tournament. As he wraps it up, he is the winner of the 53rd annual Rado Orange Bowl International Tournament, Tennis Tournament, and it's been a great day here in Key Biscayne, and Cindy, you gotta say, it took him a while, but he finally got the job done. You know, this is one of the best finals I've seen here at the Orange Bowl, and you can see Andy Roddick, an emotional wreck right now. He is in tears over this match. When you think about what he fought through, forget about his ailing back, but two points from the match, twice in the second set, choked it away in the tiebreaker, and then to come through in the third set, again, to have three match points, lose those. It seems like everything's going against him, and finally to prevail. What a tremendous run, showing a lot of poise from Andy Roddick. We'll come back and wrap things up here from Key Biscayne when Ruby turn right after this timeout. The 1999 Rado Orange Bowl International Tennis Championships on Sports Channel have been brought to you in part by Rado Swiss Watches. And by Ericsson. Welcome back to Stadium Court here at the Tennis Center in Crandon Park on Key Biscayne as Andy Roddick gets the job done the first time for the Americans since 1992 in this tournament. The 14th seed defeats Max Abel of Germany. And how about the girls on the 18 underside? Well, a huge win for Maria Jose Martinez from Spain. She takes out the number five seed, Maria Emilia Salerni of Argentina. She knocked off four seeds en route to this title. And of course, for Andy Roddick, match point here as he wraps up this tournament in three sets. A tremendously strong service all afternoon, and he saves his best for last as Max Abel gave it all he could, but just ran out of steam. 
Well, Andy Roddick looks like he won the U.S. Open here. He is so emotionally charged. The most impressive thing, other than the fact that he never lost serve the entire day, is the fact that he held his nerves in check when he needed to. For Cindy Smirler, I'm Steve Michael saying thanks for stopping by here in Key Biscayne. So long, everybody. He is 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts here. And a chance to pick up an RBI, and he does. Game to left center. So Berge comes in to score. It is 8 to 1 Florida. And Redmond with his sixth RBI. And the Marlins have scored for the first time tonight since the second inning. That's the first time since the second. Sixth RBI. And the Marlins have scored for the first time tonight since the second inning. That's the first time since the second inning they put together back to back hits only the third hit they've gotten since that second inning. Look at Mike Redmond he's saying they're not too many lefties. We've had some success against <laughs> lefties not too many of them going to shut me out. And he had not gotten a base. He's with Cincinnati in the first of a three game series. Antonio gives up a couple of hits but no damage here in the ninth inning. And Ryan Denstra wins it to run his record to two and one. Now they score early and then made a payoff, Tommy. Well, the 35 year old from Miami Southridge High School, Freddie Gonzalez, uh, the acting manager tonight, picks up his first win in the major leagues. It's a tip of the cap to everybody who performed, but what a performance by Ryan Denster getting out of a little jam in that first inning after Pokey Reese's leadoff triple. And I think that really set the tone for the way this game was played, and then the offense took over early. Preston Wilson with three hits. He has now hit safety at eight. A little bouncer. Gonzalez on the first. And the moment. And the win coming. As they have defeated Cincinnati in the first of a three game series. Antonio gives up a couple of hits, but no damage here in the ninth inning. And Brian Denster wins it to run his record to two and one. Now they score early. Comes in with an outstanding 2.33 ERA. And that's a base hit to right field. Pokey to third, turning third, he'll score. As Katsi gets it back into second base. So the the 1,000th home run in Coors Field history earlier this season. Well, outstanding 2.33 ERA. And that's a base hit to right field. Pokey to third, turning third, he'll score. As Katsi gets it back into second base. So the double by Reese, and the single by Moore. Pokey to third, turning third, he'll score. As Katsi gets it back into second base. So the double by Reese, and the single by Morris, and the red. But with one strike, he laid off. Line drive and a base hit to right field. So Morris coming on. Young is going to be held up at third base. Now, in a rundown, is going to be Larkin. Fabregas takes a look, chasing him down, running toward the base runner. Now to Gonzalez. And now Larkin is tagged out, and Young has to hold the third.
Foster. A rash of no decisions of late, but could have easily won his last two starts. Well, the one thing that Alex does when he takes him out, you know he's going to keep his ball club in the game. And I know Cliff Floyd has talked about that, that when you play behind Alex Fernandez, you know the game's going to be. Right. Larkin might have chased that pitch. But with one strike, he laid off. Line drive and a base hit to right field. So Moore is coming on. Young is going to be held up at third base. Now, in a rundown, is going to be Larkin. Breaky, oh, there's a good pitch there. Might have been another changeup. Young winner who went his entire career and never allowed a grand slam. Oh, look out. There's a flying bat. First base with two outs. He struck him out looking. Now one hop, two hops to Katsu. Larkin going to try to score. Here's the throw. He missed him at the plate. Larkin with a great slide. Now one hop, two hops to Katsu. Larkin going to try to score. Here's the throw. He missed him at the plate. Larkin with a great slide. A 3 nothing lead now for Cincinnati. And the Reds have runners on second and third with two out. That was one hop, two hops to Katsu. Larkin going to try to score. Here's the throw. He missed him at the plate. Larkin with a great slide. A one hop, two hops to Katsu. Larkin going to try to score. Here's the throw. He missed him at the plate. Larkin with a great slide. One and one rounded toward the middle Gonzalez couldn't get it and here comes the run Beret toward the plate it's not a great throw by Wilson and in fact Morris goes all the way the one and one rounded toward the middle Gonzalez couldn't get it and here comes the run Beret toward the plate it's not a great throw by Wilson and in fact Morris goes all the way into second he drives in the run to make it four to nothing. Reese advancing to third and after getting two fast outs here in the sixth inning Looper has surrendered three consecutive singles. Well the whole key to this inning was the one and one rounded toward the middle Gonzalez couldn't get it and here comes the run Beret toward the plate it's not a great throw by Wilson and in fact Morris goes all the way boggling the three two and the right field. Again, well done by Wilson, moving up to second Millar. So tonight it has been a homecoming of sorts. Joe D, 56 in a row. That's mind-boggling. The 3-2. And the right field. Again, well done by Wilson, moving up to second Millar. The Marlins have runners at first. Pretend is for the uh, Florida Marlins. And with Tommy Hutton, Tommy, also maybe the combination of all those things really angered Alex. Yeah. Five fans reminded this telecast is presented by the authority of the Florida Marlins. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And boy, this was a great moment here. Mike Lowe getting a nice ovation here at the ballpark after this hour and 11 minute. It was a key for him. Now a graduate of Coral on four hits. What does that tell you about Pedro Martinez? Well, it just tells you that good pitch. Last year, Larkin stole 26 bases. And he also had 10 triples, so he could still. Oh. The umpire Gray. And Gabe White had four out of the pen. And here it comes. High drive caught by Boone at third base. My goodness. And Floyd slams down the. Now the 2-0 pitch. The fly ball, shallow right. 12 in the minors in any season. 
He's smiling and for good reason. He's having a great year. Yeah, he has that kind of face too. He played shortstop and he said without hesitation, Omar Vizquel, the great Indian shortstop. One run in for the Reds. We're in the middle of the sixth. Four to nothing, Cincinnati. Just as what? Down. One and one out. Toward the middle, sliding stop for Larkin. He gets one out, and look at that play. Look at the stop. Toward the middle, sliding stop for Larkin. He gets one out, and look at that play. Look at the stop by. When the game started, he was hitting 299. Into the left field corner. Floyd over toward left center. He does cut the ball off, but uh, let's see, one run will score. And racing into third base is Aaron Boone. When the game started, he was hitting 299. Into the left field corner. Floyd over toward left center. He does cut the ball off, but uh, let's see, one run will score. And racing into third base is Aaron Boone. So it is five to nothing Cincinnati. Possibly. And in racing into third base is Aaron Boone. So it is five to nothing Cincinnati on a double by Pokey Reese, who's had a four hit game here tonight. And the 44, White 48 so far, huh? That's a double, at least. Conte chasing it down, though. Casey heading for second base. Two runs have scored. Here's the throw to second base. It gets by Gonzalez. And now here's a play at the plate, but it is overthrown behind Fabregas, who never saw the ball coming. That's a double, at least. Conte chasing it down, though. Casey heading for second base. Two runs have scored. Here's the throw to second base. It gets by Gonzalez. And now here's a play at the plate, but it is overthrown behind Fabregas, who never saw the ball coming. And Casey winds up at third. Rami, you were saying earlier how many grand slams have been hit this season? 48. 48 so far, huh? That's a double, at least. Conte chasing it down, though. Casey heading for second base. Two runs have scored. Here's the throw to second base. It gets by Gonzalez. And now here's a play at the plate, but it is overthrown behind Fabregas, who never saw the ball coming. And Casey winds up at third. So it's going to be a double for Casey. Give him two RB. That's a double, at least. Conte chasing it down, though. Casey heading for second base. Two runs have scored. Here's the throw to second base. It gets by Gonzalez. And now here's a play at the plate, but it is overthrown behind Fabregas, who never saw the ball coming. Find aluminum bats with an ERA of 089. That ball is drilled to right field. There's Tucker backing up, looking up. You can wave it. Bye-bye, Cliff Lord. Number six for the big guy. And the Marlins have averted the shot. It is Saves, and keep in mind aluminum bats with an ERA of 089. That ball is drilled to right field. There's Tucker backing up, looking up. You can wave it. Bye-bye, Cliff Lord. Number six for the big guy. And the Marlins have averted the shot. It is now 8 to 1 Cincinnati. Just think how far that one would have gone with an aluminum bat. Now, there was a, a time in this game early on when uh, a few opportunities went. Now, there was a, a time in this game early on when uh, a few opportunities went by. And one with Cliff Lloyd, certainly not his fault. He hit a line drive to third. Aaron Boone made a nice play on it. That was in the third inning. But a hanging breaking ball, and look at Cliff jump all over. Yeah, you can see Cliff done it, and this one is in the loss count. As Cincinnati returns a favor last night, they win this one eight to one. And Tommy and I have returned with the not so lovely totals right after that. While Lexus, while Lexus tests to the highest standards of safety, we also test for the intangibles and luxury. Comfort. Ergonomics. Even beauty. The 
PS400. The true test of luxury. Your downloads look stunning this evening. Ooh. See your South Florida Lexus dealer. What stands between you? Dimitri Young. No score. We are just getting started. Into right center. Wilson on a dead run. He makes a lunging one-handed catch of that ball. And now Moore is going to tag and go to third base. One of no score. Well no. no score. We are just getting started. Into right center. Wilson on a dead run. He makes a lunging one-handed catch of that ball. And now Moore is going to tag and go to third base. Into right center, Wilson on a dead run. He makes a lunging one-handed catch of that ball. And now Moore is going to tag and go to third base. What a play by Prince. Looked like a pretty good pitch, ultimately. And Larkin does it again. That's a base hit to left field. It'll drive in Morris. Racing to third is Casey. The throw coming into the middle of the infield. Have to stay with that knuckleball, too. Looked like a pretty good pitch, ultimately.